Welcome to this tutorial on installing Koha library software in a simple and straightforward way. System requirements before we begin ensure that your computer must meet these requirements. Minimum 8 GB RAM and 64 bit operating system. Step 1. Open your web browser and search for RawForce download on Google. Click on the first link. Here you can see the latest versions. Select the bootable version and download it. Here you can see the downloading is started. Step 2. Prepare your USB driver. Open Rufus and insert a USB into your computer. It's automatically show on the top the device name. On the down you can select the Koha ISO file. Here you can see we just select the Koha ISO file. The downloading is started. Here you can see the downloading is finalizing. Just wait a minute. After it completed, just cancel it. Here we can see how we can download the Koha ISO file. Find the link in the video description and copy the link to your browser and download the file. Here you can see the downloading is started. It's maybe take some time. After that, set up this partition for Koha. Open this PC and click on manage. Go on the disk management. Select the disk where Koha will be installed and delete the volume. Make sure backup all the important documents. After that boot from USB and install Koha. For this just restart your PC. In my case I press F12 for BIOS. Here the BIOS will open. Just reboot the usb storage device after that here you can see the boot system installer just enter on this here you can see it's updating yeah the ubuntu window is open the password is mentioned down the video link description once ubuntu open Create a user account with a username, login name and password. And also the host name. Select the disk partition for Koha and delete the existing one and create a new partition. Use a forward slash and just go back and next and just start installing. Here you can, here you can see the installation is completed. When the installation completes, your system will restart. Remove the USB driver during restart. If Ubuntu doesn't load, restart your system and press F2, change the boot sequence from UEC to legacy, then save and exit it.
password to access Ubuntu. After that, open Firefox and new tab type localhost 8000 in the address bar. In the username and the password is by default mentioned there. Just login. Yeah, here you can see the Koha home page is open. After that, we need to create a new library. For this, go on in a Koha administration and down and go on the libraries and create new library. Here you can mention the library code and the full name also. Here you can see we mentioned and just submit it. Yeah, the new library has been created. After that, we need to add the patterns. Just click on the pattern categories new category category code and the name okay and the line institute name library institute name okay and just save yeah the pattern category is created after that we need to add the patterns new patterns library staff okay just the full name sir here you can mention the surname and the first name also date of birth gender just down down here the library card just mention two the one is already has been created by default and just done and also, also mention the new username here you can see we are the pattern with all the details after that we need to set the permission for this more set permission and access all the library function just save you are the super librarian access all the librarian function after that we need to remove the default pattern for this just search on the patterns mention here one search and more delete the patterns yes delete it okay and the pattern has been deleted and also delete the library also for this go and go administration libraries and delete the old one just delete it yes yeah now we have only just one library 